begin at 4.30 with a story of a true groundbreaker and a pioneer determined to kick down the door for others as well. Yeah, we're here in the green room, CBS 11 green room, green room with Keith Russell, and we're talking about really a new chapter for DISD. Guys, when I first heard about this story, I was like, you know what? You mean the first? And this person was like, yeah, the first. The very first? And they were like, yeah, the very first. <laughs> and then I stopped and I thought, you know what? Sometimes it's not about why it took so long. It's just about the right person at the right time. The big splash being heard all around DFW isn't coming from Lowe's Natatorium in Addison. It can be felt all the way back to North Central Expressway, where Sylvia Salinas walks into her office making history every single day. Complete excitement. Um, I feel it's a really great opportunity to show our students who look like me. I'm Sylvia Salinas. I'm the athletic director. Yeah, nice to meet you. And uh, come from where I came from, and I think just it's a good opportunity to show them that we can do whatever we want. Did y'all win? What place did y'all get? We got first in district. In our district. There you go. So you did. A long time before Salinas obtained her bachelor's from Southwest Texas State, master's from Northwestern State, and doctorate from UNT, she had an insane passion for athletics. But never did the native of Brownsville, Texas, think she'd be sitting in this seat. I didn't plan on being in this chair. Even when I got my master's degree in sports administration, it was like, oh, you're going to be an AD. And I got my doctorate. Oh, you got that to be an AD. And it, it wasn't. Those were personal goals. And I just continued doing what I love to do. And I ended up in this chair. And trust me, it takes a moment for others to understand the magnitude of what she's accomplished. How do you introduce yourself? I'll just joke with them and talk to them about their hair or why they have a shirt on backwards or something crazy. Yeah. And they're like, who are you? Like, why are you here? Why are you asking about me? I'm like, I'm the athletic director. <laughs> what is your name? You. Isabella. Isabella. I'm the athletic director. Damien, nice to meet you. We've met before, right? Good to see you. Meet the new woman in charge. Salinas is the first female executive director of athletics in the history of Dallas ISD. So me being in this position, I, I'm going to take advantage of it, and I'm going to make women proud, and I'm going to make the Hispanic community proud to make sure that they know that they made the right decision. Dallas ISD hasn't had a school recognized as a state champ in football since 1950. Fortunately, the Madison boys basketball team broke through last year to win the state title. But when Sylvia looks at the map of her jurisdiction, she knows she has major ground to cover to bring prominence back to the district. I don't know about it. if I have anything to prove to anyone. I think it's just to prove to myself that I know I can do this job. Um, the it's a big job. It's a challenge. It is a, little, a lot easier if you have your one school town. All your resources go to that one campus and the one school. Um, but we have 32. We have 54 athletics programs, um, 22 high schools, and 32 middle schools, and everybody needs something. Are you a tech guy? Managing almost 1,000 employees responsible for an annual operating budget of over $9 million, her focus is not only adding more medals, it's using herself as an example to all the young athletes to keep their eyes on the prize in life. They take advantage of every opportunity you have. Get your education. Congratulations. Because your education brings opportunities. Opportunities that you don't even know you have. And, and that's what Dr. Sylvia Salinas wants her message to be. You know, when you think about uh, some of the premier mm -hmm. districts mm -hmm. in DFW, they don't worry about kids in poverty. They don't worry about whether kids are going to show up to school or not, whether they're going to be able to make it out of the day, whether they come from single parent or no parent yeah. households. But that's the case with Dallas ISD. And Sylvia says, if only athletics is a caveat to get these kids to the next level. Right. If it's just a means of getting them to college, right. once you get that education, no door can be closed. Well, and we saw what it did for her, right? So, I mean, she has uh, that legacy herself that she set yeah. to pass on to other people. And that's what she wants to be, a testament. Yeah, she, I mean, just an inspiring role model for everybody to look up to, that's for awesome. sure. All right, well, we're wishing her well in her new role, and uh, we'll be watching to see what she does. Yes, we will. All right, Keith, thank you very much. Appreciate it.